First and foremost, I'm sure y'all seen my live stream earlier where the Devin Haney fan was talking crazy to me. I said, if you really in Chicago, we could link up and box. Turns out, dude actually pulled up to box me. I'm wondering if I should drop the video. I'm sitting on the video. Maybe I'll drop the video, maybe I won't. If y'all want me to drop the video so y'all can see what happened with me and the Devin Haney fan, type it up in the comment section. I think I know what y'all are gonna say. Fuck the Haney! But it looks like all the rumors were true. Javante Tank Davis vs. Lamont Roach is official for December 14th. The WBA has granted Lamont Roach special permission to fight Javante Davis while still keeping his belt. And when you think about it, I don't think that Javante Davis wants a super featherweight title anyway. What do y'all think about that? I think it's a great fight. Javante Davis continues to challenge himself. Unlike Devin Haney or Shakur Stevenson. I don't speak English. But as y'all pretty much expected, the Devin Haney fans weren't too happy with this. The Canelo Alvarez fans were not too happy with this decision. Let me ask y'all some. If Shakur Stevenson ran to match room, if Devin Haney is still suspended, who do you want Javante Davis to fight? Lomachenko admittedly backed out the fight. Lomachenko announced that he does not want to fight Javante Davis. So who do y'all expect Javante Davis to fight? You were scared to get in the ring. I don't care what none of y'all talking about. It is a great fight to end off the year. Boxing enthusiasts on Twitter tweeted out, who is fighting the toughest competition? You be the judge. Theofimo Lopez vs. Steve Claggett. Shakur Stevenson vs. Joe Cordina. The man put Artem Harotun in, but I'm sure he talking about Joe Cordina. Jerron Boots and his fighting Kevin, or Javante Davis fighting Lamont Rose Jr. As y'all can see, 75% went with Javante Davis. He fighting the toughest competition, unlike Shakur Stevenson. <laughs> You gotta take your hat off to Lamont Roach, the man is fighting the most feared fighter in the sport of boxing, I'm talking about Javante Davis. Nobody wants to fight Tank, so respect to Lamont Roach, but at the same time, you finna get knocked out. Bad. Who's beating me? And boxing enthusiasts put this out on Twitter, it says when it's all said and done, who will have the best legacy out these three fighters? Tank, Devin, or Shakur, y'all already know what I say. Floyd Mayweather is the greatest fighter to ever live because he beat a world record 23 champion 16 in a row. The man retired undefeated and he is the most skilled fighter of all time. Javante Davis beat more world champions than both Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney put together. And when you think about it, Javante Davis is levels above these two anyway. Javante Davis will leave behind the greatest legacy, in my opinion. Not Devin Haney. And on this episode of Edgar Berlanga celebrates failure the way nobody in the history of boxing ever celebrated failure. Edgar Berlanga is proud to get that ass whooped by Canelo Alvarez. Edgar Berlanga posts this on Instagram. As y'all can see, it says music and boxing. Apparently, Edgar Berlanga want to become a rapper. Corny as hell, I am telling you. But everybody take a look at the bottom of the newspaper. As y'all can see, it shows the one punch that Edgar Berlanga landed on Canelo. That is what clowns do. Whenever a clown gets beat the hell up in a fight, all he want to do is post the punches that he landed. Forgetting that Canelo Alvarez actually won the fight. Then the man posed this picture where he was in Puerto Rico riding down the street with a motorcycle gang. I already told y'all, motorcycle gangs to me, in my opinion. Corny as hell, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania type of culture. Y'all ain't cut like that. Sunday it is! And everybody take a look at Errol Spence getting ready for his debut at 154. What do y'all notice in this picture? I'm gonna tell you what I notice. I noticed Errol Spence eating junk food. This is not the way to move up a weight class. Let me repeat that. When you want to move up in weight, especially if you're Errol Spence, you need to hire a nutritionist. Eating junk food is the wrong way to go up in weight. I'm just saying. I don't glorify that. In my personal opinion, in the fight with Sebastian Fondora, I'll be seeing y'all in my comment section. I got to write to my opinion. Sebastian Fondora will beat Errol Spence. Let me repeat that. Errol Spence is damaged goods. He will not win his fight with Sebastian Fondora. But I will be rooting for the man. Let's not be crazy. And Shakur Stevenson, the softest individual in the history of the sport of boxing, a.k.a. Mr. Twitterson, a.k.a. the man who said he was going to fly some bro coach out of Philly, whole team to Chicago to come and do something to me, and he didn't do a damn thing. He not cut like that. 
The man was back on Twitter capping again Talking about I got it straight out the dirt I got mine off the floor Stop the damn cat bro You've been living out of Newark, New Jersey Since you was 14 years old You have no idea What getting it out the dirt means Fuck you dumbass nigga As the old saying goes It's easy to be a soldier When there ain't no war Shakur Stevenson is tweeting like he's some type of tough Knowing that he got an injury Knowing that he got a broken hand if some of y'all forgot how Shakur Stevenson injured his hand, everybody check this out. <laughs> Buddy soft as hell, I'm telling you. I look forward to see who Shakur Stevenson tries to cherry pick next. I know he talking about fighting Zepeda next year. I can't see it. William Zepeda style is all wrong for Shakur Stevenson. As we all know, Shakur Stevenson fears power punching southpaws let me repeat that the man ran all 12 rounds from edwin de los santos and when javante tank davis was free when tank davis did not have a fight lined up and shakur stevenson did not have a fight lined up did shakur stevenson look to make the tank fight absolutely not the man went to go hide behind eddie hearn i stand on what i say i will forever stand on what i say shakur stevenson the biggest wannabe gangster in the history of the sport of boxing. The man is just not cut like that. Mediocre. Hey yo, Shakur Stevenson, bro. Why are you not a man of your word? I don't believe a damn thing you say, and I will never believe anything you say. You said you was finna fly Greg Hackett whole team to Chicago. Why didn't you stand on your word, bro? You got millions of followers. That means you lied to millions of people. And like I say. It's easy to talk crazy on the internet when you 3,000 miles away. Speaking of that, should I drop the video of me versus the Devin Haney fan? Type up in the comment section, but I already know what y'all are gonna say. Listen, dude, I'm sorry you're broke. 